What's up guys, my name is K9 and welcome back to the pack. Now in today's video I'm going to be doing something completely different that I haven't done in absolutely years I don't think. I don't think I've done this since the start of the channel. So today I'm going to be reading a few of your comments. Uh, last time I think I did this was when I had green hair. Um, now I've got like no hair. That was a joke by the way, I do actually have hair, it's just my hairline's receding. Thanks dad. It's not that bad, but it's getting there. Either way I have put aside quite a few comments over the past few months that I haven't actually read out that I find absolutely hilarious and I thought I'd share them all with you guys. Now before we get into this video I do want to let you know that my band Rejected Reality Heat have dropped their new EP today. Not today when I'm recording this but today when you're viewing it. 1st of July 2019. If you haven't heard any of our music before be sure to go and check it out. I'll leave the link to that in the description. I have been part of this band for about four years now. It's, a, it's more rock music. If you're not into rock music, then it might not be your cup of tea, but go check it out anyway, just to give us a bit of support. Now, if you don't have a clue what objective reality is, or who they are, or who we are in general, um, they're also the ones that did the rock cover of Never Back Down, my single as well. So if you haven't seen that on the channel, then I'll also leave the link to that one in the description, because that is a decent watch. I love that so much. Now, hint, hint, we are actually currently working on a few more covers of my songs. So a few more rock covers, which is going to be insane. Again, I'll throw it out there on the 10th of August, 2019. We've also got an event called Rip and Rocks where we'll be headlining. We've got a few other bands coming in. So if you are around the North Yorkshire area, be sure to come and check that out as well because it's going to be a great night. It always is. It's an annual thing. Now, I think it's time to... Uh... <coughs> Shit. Uh, spill the tea is what I was going to say. I've choked my whole guts up. Now, I have an app on my phone that enables me to check all my YouTube stats and all my video stats, comments and everything like that. So I'm just going to load that up. I'm going to let you know a couple of these comments because a few of them are absolutely hilarious. A few of them are ridiculous. Let's just get in and see. Now we're going to start all the way back. Yes, even further back than my hairline. This is a comment from over a year ago, but I thought I'd let you guys know this because this is from one of my dumb Twitter posts uh, videos that I did absolutely ages ago. And the, the title of this video was The Earth is Flat, I swear, because I was thinking it was ridiculous, this whole flat earth theory and everyone posting about it being so stupid. But obviously, I don't believe that the earth is flat at all. Now, if you guys are flat earthers, fair enough to you. It's completely up to you, but I think science is completely different. In my opinion, if there was a flat earth, there would be an edge. Now, we're going to stop going on a rant. Now, we'll get into this comment. So, this starts off as... That was not meant to sound racist at all. Um, I'm assuming this person's Spanish. Now, again, not kind of a stereotypical thing, but a lot of Spanish people seem to put uh, J's instead of H's for this sort of thing. I'm not sure if that's just uh, how they spell it or not. I'm not sure. Anyway, go on. It says... Sure, buddy, don't worry. You live on a ball spinning faster than the speed of sound at the equator. Well, uh, yes. Okay, now this person basically goes on to have a massive rant about how I'm wrong and he's right. Um, and he sent me a few pictures. All NASA pictures are admittedly CGI. Now, I don't think they actually had CGI when we actually landed on the moon, but I'm not too sure on that. Don't quote me. I'm not too sure. Well, let's, let's just have a look at this. Okay. Oh, that's funny. He sent me a link. And the videos are available. Basically, goes on to say the clouds are copy and pasted. Something's from the Russians. Like I, I don't understand this at all. Again, I left this comment in my spam folder because it was a completely ridiculous comment. But I thought I'd let you guys know, just so you can see how stupid people are. Like, fair enough. You can believe in a flat earth all you want, but don't tell me I'm wrong for learning science. Now again, this was another comment from a while ago. This was actually six months ago. My good friend Jerry commented on it saying, "When is episode two of Scott and Dolph?" I do know, Scott and Dolph is amazing, I've been waiting for the days, I know I've been waiting for the day as well because I want it to happen so badly. We are currently in the works of making a Scott and Dolph 2 and hopefully making it into a proper series, it's just taking a while, a lot of shit's been going on. So we are taking it steady at the moment, but fingers crossed we can get back to a Scott and Dolph 2, maybe even with some new characters, because I absolutely love filming that and I know you guys love watching it. Now the next comments are coming from the video fighting my manager, which wasn't clickbait because I'm actually having a boxing match against my manager. Neither of us have properly boxed before as well, so it'll be a nice, interesting sight to see. If you haven't seen that video, I recommend going to watch it as well, so you get all the information. Either way, I asked the people to kind of mention what they think would be a good ring song, so we've got a few suggestions. The first one, however, was not a ring song. It was just Dan Patterson saying, hope you fucking kill him. Love to wait and see about that one, Dan. Love to wait and see. Also, I had a suggestion there's Get Even as a ring song from Jerry as well. It's the most aggressive. Now, it is an aggressive song. That was actually kind of a true story as well. Uh, but I'll probably go into depth about that song at some point in the future when I get asked about it. But we're not going to go into that for now. Lose Yourself by Eminem. No. No, Bagley. No. I am not doing an Eminem song as a ring song. I want to do my own song. That's the whole point. I want to do my own song. I'll never back down to another good shout, but I don't really want to do that one. There is 
a new single on the way that I am hoping to do as a ring song. Now that is actually in the works of a new music video, the audio is getting recorded soon as well, so I can't wait, that's going to be one of my favourite songs of all time. I honestly, I'm seriously looking forward to it. Ah, here is the comment I've been waiting for, scrolling through this. This is the moment someone got extremely triggered by this. You know what's weird though, I can actually picture him like in this complete like Nord outfit or something like that. Just sat down in a in, on a pew in the middle of a church, just listening to a ceremony. It's half past eleven. I'm pretty sure he's been on that since like ten. He's been in a wedding for like an hour and a half now. Mate, it's not even a real <laughs> wedding. There'll be some Nord, it'll be some like this Nord bloke, like marrying some one of those reptile women, and then it's secretly just like two. 50 year old blokes sat in their garage just marrying each other. Now at the time I didn't know who this person was, I was just making a general joke. As you can see, you can tell it was a joke. I wasn't meaning it as a serious thing at all. But this person has uh, named and shamed herself Rosie Dixon. Yeah, probably should have used a different name if you didn't want me to expose you for it. Okay, here we go. So, it starts off. That was my wedding twat. I'm a female and not that you've had much contact with my gender. I mean, yeah, of course not. I'm not engaged or anything. But the wedding didn't take that long. It's for XP, dumbass. Yes, okay. You had a Skyrim wedding and you're getting so butt hurt that I said it was lame. Before slating people's games, look at yourself streaming your crap game with gimpy hair. Okay, here we go. Bring it up the hair. That's where I draw the line. Literally, my hairline. You you can't see it. You can, I, I could draw it for you. It'd be like a line on an egg. Again, I like Skyrim. I've got nothing against it. I played it for months and months on end. Hours and hours of gameplay. I absolutely loved the game. I didn't even know you could have weddings in it. But again, Rosie, it was a joke. And you got so butt hurt, which is why I'm reading out this comment, because it's hilarious. Now, get a life. No one's interested. You're never going to be good. No one's interested and a video that got over 2,000 views in about three days. So yeah, no one's interested, okay. And you're never gonna be good, okay. Now here's again, that's the thing that I don't get. It said I'm never gonna be good, either at, what is it, at making YouTube videos, at gaming, I'm not sure. Now again, as you guys know, I'm not a main gamer. I do game on the side, I do enjoy it, it is fun to do, and I would happily do it as a career, but I'm not that good. And you guys know that from watching the channel for ages. This person's obviously new. Now again, music is my passion. Music's something that I'm doing for a very long time and I hopefully be doing it for a very long time in the future. Um, I just can't say that I'm never gonna be good at that because my songs have got over 100,000 streams on all across all platforms. So pretty sure people are interested and actually like my stuff. And I'm pretty sure I may be going somewhere. I literally just replied to him saying, okay, for one, calm your tits. For two, it's a fucking joke. For three, Connor was actually in my video. He's a good friend of mine. Like, I know he's a good friend of hers as well, but at the same time, that's how you know it's a fucking joke. Now, it was just quite, it was just quite an amusing comment when I saw it. I knew I had to make a video on it. Obviously, these are from quite a few months ago. These are quite old comments, but I still wanted to keep them down and I wanted to keep them all together so I can make a video like this. You can see kind of just how stupid and butt hurt people get. But there you go. Ah, oh, there's one more. Did part of your mustache fall in down? Okay, very fucking funny. I'm assuming this guy's on about this bit here. Now, if you can't see, when I grow a moustache, it doesn't grow here. It grows here, and a little beard bit grows here. So he's on about that. So, yeah, okay. Good one. Right, well, I'm going to leave this video here. Again, it was a short and sweet video, but I just wanted to make a quick video anyway. So I haven't uploaded again in a while. Um, I've recently just bought a new gaming laptop, so I'll be back to do more gaming videos. Maybe even some new games on the way. I want to do more Fortnite, more live streams and everything. Now I've got a gaming laptop, that is possible. Um, but either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If you see more like this, then subscribe. Now, I shall see you later.